What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to DVDJ.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 buy team video. Today guys, we got more market tips for you as per usual, um, another day with market tips every single day bro, same thing, different day. So uh, today we're going to go over some filters, I guess, and some market value. Um, market's still rising, man. Today, we could see something crazy. We could see um, diamond packs, maybe, uh, not diamond packs, new diamond players. But yeah, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Like the vid, sub if you are new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT, man. If the subs mean a lot, baby, we've been gaining a solid 10 to 15 subs a day. You guys have been loving the content. I'm just going to keep pouring out market videos, MT videos for all you guys. Make sure you drop the sub. Turn on those noti bells as well. So, without further ado, let's get into the market. Let's get into some packs, all that good stuff. So, being said, right now, my MT is a little lower. I just did the Doncic collection. If you guys did not check out that Doncic gameplay, go check it out. Um, but today, guys, um, they have to drop a Diamond Moments pack. So... With that said, what happens with Diamond? If they drop one Diamond Moments player, which they probably will, I, ha I have to see a Giannis dropping sooner or later. Like, where has Giannis been? He's been going off, and uh, they haven't really respected that, I guess. So maybe he has to just go really, really off with like 40, 10, and 10, and he needs like a pink Diamond card. But if they do drop a Giannis, I'll be getting it. So right now, what do I recommend? So right now, I would recommend selling your cards and buying later. That's number one. Number two. So, since they do have Malcolm Brogdon, Tatum, the Moments of the Week uh, cards at a pretty high price right now, uh, I would recommend waiting until they do drop a Moments card, probably I would say today or tomorrow. So, wait until they drop a Diamond Moments card. So, yeah, if you want to do the Doncic Collection, wait until they do drop that card. So, right now, I would not do the Doncic Collection. I did it because I just wanted to have some content for you guys, try out the new Doncic, so yeah. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. You could try. But yeah, let's get into the market. So right now, man, as you can see, this is what I'm selling. Nothing too crazy. Actually, my Bob Love just sold. But yeah, I'm trying to sell some of my diamonds, some of my amethyst, all that good stuff. Because the market is high right now. And when moments pack do drop, moment packs drop. Um, what happens? The market usually crashes a ton. Uh, everybody tries pulling the new moments. And not only that... Amethyst NBA 20, you guys probably know this if you're my subs. Amethyst NBA 20 drop a ton, and it is the best time to pick them up, especially when moments packs drop, especially when new cards come out. Because since you guys don't know, in the league packs, you can pull players. So what does that mean? Since you can pull players, you guys should probably, since you could pull these Amethyst, you guys should probably sell these cards if you have them now and pick them up when new moments cards do drop. So overall... Um, market is pretty much at its peak right now. As you can see, it's dead. I'm going to show you right now with my diamond filter. This is the filter that pretty much could tell me how the market's running. So now, if you see this car at around 29k, you could tell the market is very slow. Like, usually you see them for 22k and you see a little other cards pop up for that price. But if you see no other cards pop up for around 35k, you know that the market is very slow. And no one's really posting cards and there's no packs out. Like, there's packs out, but no one's really, like, spamming them now. So, since Antoine Carr is around this price, market's dead. That means you sell, okay? That's number one rule of selling. It's literally just based off this one card. This is where the market evolves around. I'm telling you right now, it sounds crazy. But this one card could tell you if the market's booming or not. Right now, it's not booming whatsoever. It's slow. It's harder to snipe. So, yeah, man. Um, I don't know. I just would think that it's a great time to sell other than that man it's all it's all up to you guys like honestly i would not recommend popping any of these moment packs right now there's nothing to them there is absolutely nothing to these cat packs besides these two amethysts and realistically i'm gonna be honest i probably pulled about 20 of these bad boys with mt and honestly I got nothing. All I got was a bunch of freaking Marshalls, Duncan Robinsons, Holmes, and uh, Harford. That was my best pull of Harford. So, yeah, those packs are trash. These packs are terrible. I dropped like freaking 100K on these packs. Terrible packs. You're not going to get nothing. I literally didn't even get any of these cards. I didn't even get one of them. So, these packs, trash. Legacy Mark Price packs. I also pulled about 10 to 20 of these packs. 
What did I get? This guy right here, the Ruby. Worthless, right? So right now, I would recommend just holding on to your MT. Just don't pop any packs like me. Hold on to your MT, wait for a market crash. And now, when the market crash does hit, I'm gonna give you a ton of tips in this video on how to make MT. There's a lot of different ways to make MT when the market does crash. Personally, my favorite thing is when the market crashes is personally, like let's say they drop two Amethyst cards and it's like a moment of the week three. I like to try to snipe those cards out because those are the newest cards. Kids will accidentally throw them up for cheap. So, since kids will throw, up, throw them up for cheap, it's a good way to snipe them out. Like right now, I did snipe a couple Brogdons off this filter. Right now, I'm rocking moments of the week two filter and I'm putting it to around 60 something K because this filter has been working for me. And honestly, it should work for you. Now, this filter is also good because you could get a Tatum and you could make a lot of MT. As you do see, Brogdon slowing down and dropping every single day. Since he is dropping in price, it is a great idea to sell now and pick him up when that diamond car comes out. Because this is probably the highest you will see him for a really long time. He'll be about 60k for the next couple days, unless they do drop that diamond moments card. And if you don't know, when those diamond moment cards drop, they get posted on the auction very frequently. For some reason, everybody pulls them. I even pulled one last week. So, <clears throat> not a bad snipe filter. Now, um, best filters to use when market crash does drop, when the market drops, diamond 35k, diamond 30k. Best filter has worked for me so solidly. It's amazing. Not only that, any NBA 20 cards, silvers, amethyst, any of those cards, they're posted for so cheap during that time. Like if you see any of those cards at a base of 15K, like the Amethyst cards, it's just so easy to pick them up and flip them, bro. I'm telling you right now, like as you can see, there's a flood of these silvers because everyone's pulling these league packs. So like that's perfect, perfect time to pick them up, sell them and all that good stuff. Um, let's go over the Amethyst filter. I pretty much go over this one in every single uh, video, but it's pretty deadly. So. I like to get my boundaries on these cards. On these cards, I have boundaries of what you should buy and what you shouldn't. So for the Paul George, the Kawhi, and the Harden, you want to get them for under 15K. If you see them at a base of 17K, it's not bad. You could make about 2K off each card, but it's not that much MT. I recommend you try to get them for 16K or down, 16K being generous. If you get them for under 15K, that's solid. Because then you just have to wait and just simply wait till I would say Sunday. For some reason, Sunday is the best day to sell cards or any day where I sell, sell now and buy later. Um, right now, they're all at a base of above 20K, which is big dubs for everybody that has these cards. You can go ahead and sell them now. Pretty much every card in the game has went up. And I'm going to show you LeBron James Diamond has went up about so much MT. So much MT. He's going to be at 250K. Um, I sold mine for 170 last week, biggest L of my life. Got them for 250, sold them for 170 after the reduction. So I really sold them for like 190. Um, but yeah, this card's gonna be at like 240k right now. If you don't believe me that the market's high, it's high. And not only that, Rolando Black and Pink Diamond, I did cop him for 45k and his price was around 50. He's around 70k now. So yeah, man, it's just proof that the market is really that high. He's like 65 and 67, man. Everything is really expensive. Also, man, this Kobe, Kobe Bryant is an 82K, bro. He was 60K, 58K. And also, Tracy McGrady, another car that's really expensive. He was around 45K. He's at 60K. So as you guys can see, market is very high. Best time to sell is probably now. Um, I'm saying sell now because if they do drop a moment, you guys will cry, lose your MT, and then you'll just hate on me. But no. Sell now, buy when those new packs drop. If new packs drop, buy. If any packs drop, any new cards drop in packs, you must head on to the auction snipe. It's the best time to snipe, the best way to make MT in the game, man. But yeah, man, other than that, um, it's pretty much it. Um, sell now, buy when new packs come out. That's all I'm really going to say. Um, yeah, there's a ton of different snipe filters I did show you in this video, so I hope you guys go enjoy those. MT videos have been methods. I've been sending you guys great methods for all that, guys. So, yeah, pretty much make sure to drop that like sub if you are new for the chance at winning 20,000 MT. Yo, without you guys, I wouldn't be here. The support has been unreal. The comments have been unreal. The subs have been unreal. Everybody's been a great supporter. And pretty much we're going to have a Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum gameplay right after this. So stay tuned for that. 
And guys, I hope you enjoy it as well. If you want to see more streaming, uh, let me know. I will stream. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Peace.